During the ancient Roman Empire, many men wrote their names in the eternity of history. Some will be remembered as brave and astute commanders. Others earned fame for their cruelty and cowardice. But one name still echoes century after century, Gaius Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar was born on July 13, 100 BC. As a child, Caesar already proved himself as an adventurer, as he was an active and good-spirited boy. But at just 16, his life changed abruptly. His father passed away, and Julius suddenly became the head of his family. Julius was the nephew of Gaius Marius, a great general and politician. He became famous for his military victories and for reorganizing the model of the Roman legions. Marius was known for his magnetic personality. Also, he was immensely respected by the soldiers who fought alongside him. That influenced the character of the young Julius Caesar, who saw in his uncle a model to be followed. But during Julius' adolescence, his uncle waged a civil war against ambitious Lucius Cornelius Sulla. They fought for the control of the city of Rome. In the midst of this civil war, Julius Caesar married the daughter of his uncle's political ally. His beloved's name was Cornelia Cinna. Together, they had a daughter named Julia. Marius lost his life during a battle, and Cornelius Sulla assumed the position of dictator, something that placed him above the Roman laws with almost absolute power in the city. Although Julius Caesar had no direct involvement in the conflict, he felt threatened by the new dictator and his uncle's executioner. Seeing no other alternative, and in an attempt to get away from Rome as quickly as possible, Julius enlisted in the army, where he fought in distant Turkey. Julius served in the army with great prominence, even receiving the civic crown as a reward for his heroic acts. He was promptly recognized by his superiors and veteran soldiers, showing a promising future as a military commander. But in 78 BC, Julius received the news that his rival had died. Cornelius Sulla had died suddenly. For Julius Caesar, that meant a chance to come home. After fulfilling his contract in the army, Julius returned to his home. However, to his misfortune, his inheritance had been confiscated by Sulla's abusive government. To survive, Caesar used his powerful voice and his oratory skills to become a successful lawyer. And by working hard, Julius Caesar was able to rebuild his family's social status. When Julius was about 25, he traveled across the Aegean Sea. The vessel was attacked by pirates, and the largest of the crew was killed. The few survivors were captured to be sold as slaves. And for those born into wealthy families, a high ransom was demanded. Further away from home, and in a desperate situation, the future seemed uncertain and bleak for Julius Caesar.